Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Video Games and Chill here, back with another top 10 video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over my personal top 10 Nintendo 64 games of all time. Before we get into the video, as always, we wanna give a shout out to our influencer, Techni Sport. You guys, go ahead and check them out. Use code CHILL at checkout for 10% off. Now, before we get into the list, I do wanna go over a few honorable mentions. Starting off, we have Yoshi Story. Now, I love Yoshi Story so much. I've put so many hours into this game as a kid, uh, going through um, all the lands, getting all the Yoshis, all the different colors is really cool. The music is great. It's adorable. Um, and that's why it's going to be on this honorable mention list. Next, we're going to have Pokemon Snap. Now, I love this game just as much as anybody else. Um, it was really a big toss-up having this game in the honorable mentions or on the list. Uh, I recently played it not that long ago on the channel. You can go ahead and check that out as well. Um, but there's something about this game that just really captures you, no pun intended, maybe it was intended, I don't know, um, in the world of Pokemon in a different way that's never before or been done before. And so uh, I have it here i'm really hoping that they may, might revitalize it with a switch remake if so maybe we'll have to revisit this topic at a later time and finally we have 007 goldeneye now i'm probably going to get castrated in the comments for saying this and not having this on my list but you know what I don't care. I love 007 Goldeneye. It was like the first of its kind in the game. It was really fun, but I didn't get so... Maybe I was too young for the game at the time, and I didn't spend the hours playing Goldeneye like a lot of other people did. So that's why it's going to be on the honorable mentions. I have played it in the past streaming. Um, go check that out as well. I am plan to redo it again, and maybe again we'll have to revisit this at a later time. Now with those honorable mentions out of the way, let's get into the list. Coming in at number 10, we have Mario Party. Now Mario Party is an amazing game known as the controller killer because this game literally was so taxing on the Nintendo 64 controllers, it's crazy. When it comes to all the mini games, having to literally spin the controller as fast as you can was not good for the Nintendo 64 controller at the time. Uh, but all the fun mini games that you can do, you can do it solo, you can play it with your friends, your family, even though they wouldn't be your friends and your family after you were done, is just such a great game. I, I still play it for the Switch, going all the way through for all the systems I have played Mario Party. I enjoy it. They made three for the Nintendo 64 and all of them are good. There's so much I can say about Mario Party. Uh, let me know in the comments, who did you use on Mario Party? I use Luigi on Mario Party normally, and then other than that, I would use Yoshi as well. Coming in at number nine on this list is Super Smash Bros. Now this game is where my love for Super Smash Bros started. Oh my God, how fun is this game? The first of its kind, when you have just the limited amount of characters now i still use yoshi as my main now than i did back in the day but thinking about how much it has evolved and changed over the years from melee all the way up to ultimate today super smash bros is just one of those games that stands the test of time and that's why it's number nine on this list racing in at number eight we have Mario Kart 64. Now Mario Kart 64 is a game that's synonymous to the Nintendo 64, whereas it was actually probably one of the first games that a lot of people got. Now Mario Kart 64 for me has always been and always will be probably one of the best Mario Kart games of all time. I might be biased, yes, but I don't care. Mario Kart 64 still holds up to this day when it comes to the levels, when it comes to the music, and when it comes to the characters. There's different modes, there's battle modes, there's time trials. There's so many things amazing with Mario Kart 64 that people still are trying to speed run it and do everything with it to this day. And that's why Mario Kart 64 is number eight on my list. Wrestling its way to number seven on this list is 
WWF No Mercy. Now, as you guys know, I'm a big WWF fan, and I still remember as a kid when this game came out, playing it for the first time and thinking, oh my god, this looks so realistic. Now, of course, yes, that has changed, but this game is still so fun. When it comes to the dig diggity, dig diggity dog at the main menu, to the TLC matches, the Royal Rumbles, all the character unlocks, all the alternates, everything about this game is just peak WWF Attitude Era and named after a pay-per-view that isn't even around anymore. This game is just so fun. I love it. You can create a character. You can go through all the story modes with that character. Just something different at the time. And that's why WWF No Mercy is number seven on my list. Coming in at number six on my list is Conker's Bad Fur Day. So what can I say about Conker's Bad Fur Day other than he's a squirrel who has a potty mouth, who likes to drink, who has a hot girlfriend who gets taken, who has to save her, and he has to go through all this different stuff while getting drunk and finding money and battling poop monsters. It's an amazing game. It's rated M for Mature for obvious reasons. If you play the game, you'll know why I did a playthrough of it. I'm not done yet, but still doing a playthrough of it on the channel. Go ahead and check it out. But you guys, I love Conker's Bad Fur Day. It is one of those games that everybody knows about on the Nintendo 64. Not everyone's played it. Everyone should play it. And that's why it's number six on my list. Coming in at number five on this list is Pokemon Stadium. Now, I love Pokemon Stadium so much. When it comes to the different arenas, you have the quick battle, you have the gym leader tower, you have the stadium itself with all the different arenas in there the mini games you could play your pokemon red blue or yellow through the expansion pack on it this game is so fun and it is just probably the best pokemon game of all time like Honestly, it still holds up. Pokemon Stadium 1, Pokemon Stadium 2, they're both amazing. You have the best announcer slash narrator of any Pokemon game on this, and it's just amazing. You can go through all the different cups, fight in all the different trainers, and then you battle Mewtwo, and then you can do it all over again on hard mode. Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2 are just games that will always be good always be fun you can play them with your friends you can play them by yourself and you will never have a bad time and that's why pokemon stadium is number five on my list coming in at number four on my list is super mario 64 now again i'm probably going to get castrated in the comments but i don't care i know so many people who super mario 64 is their most favorite game of all time let alone their number one 64 game. Now, Super Mario 64 holds a very, very deep place and dear place in my heart, but this game is hard, okay? This game is hard, especially back in the day, and I don't know. I, did a, I just recently did a playthrough of it with the Nintendo 64 controller. I do all my 64 games with my Nintendo 64 controller. This is an actual 64 controller plugged into an adapter to use on my computer. And this game is so rage-inducing that that's probably why it's on this list. This game is so fun. I love it. The music's amazing. The characters are amazing. You know, you have to go through all the slides and all the levels, the King Bob Bomb, Bowser trying to save Peach. It's the same story. It's great. But there's something about this game that holds steady. And that's probably why they've remade it so many times. And I'm really hoping that when we get a Nintendo 64 for the Switch app or download, that this game is one of those games that comes on because it's just amazing. And that's why it is number four on my list. Coming in at number three, we have Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I love this game so much, and I'm actually going to bundle Majora's Mask into this because I really couldn't make a choice between the two, so I just am going to mesh them in together. I love these games so much because of the open world aspect, the graphics for the time, amazing, 
uh, the music on both of them and just the story going from Link or whatever you named yours as a kid. I don't you, let me know in the comments what you named your character down below, but going in as Link and going through all of the first the little dungeons and then all the temples when you go through time is just the music and the feelings behind that are amazing the storyline the amount of things to do just a hundred percent this game is just amazing and then Majora's Mask the continuation literally and or starts where Ocarina of Time ends and then it just keeps going and with all the masks Again, the music, the aspect of the moon falling, and you have to go travel through time and back in time. Just again, um, not seven years, of course, but the three days and everything like that. Just the culmination of these two games and the impact that they had are felt even today. They hold up. You can hang out and watch someone play them. You can play them yourself and just get completely immersed in this world that has really changed to so many people. The amount of cosplay, the amount of of games, spinoffs, everything like that really shows how important these games were. And even before, you know, I stream Zelda every Friday. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, we're currently doing a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda, the very first game for the Nintendo and even that game is so just the music and it's just so different than any game that was really at the time. And so these games really hold a special place in my heart. And that's why they're on the list at number three. Coming in at number two on this list, I'm going to throw a curveball at you. You were never expecting this game. We have... Diddy Kong Racing. Probably the, one of the most slept on games of all time. Diddy Kong Racing is one of my favorites. You have a normal car. Yeah, Mario Kart. This game has cars, hovercrafts, and airplanes that you get to play through. You have different levels. Awesome. This game has different worlds. You have different modes. Awesome. You play those games. You beat all the levels. Time trials. Next. Coin challenges. Next boss battles this game has it all and nobody talks about it nobody talks about this game and it drives me insane because i love it so much the amount of characters you have when it comes to um tip tup and then banjo yeah banjo's in this game and you have conquer yeah conquers in this game you have so many characters and characters you can unlock like drumstick and just this game is so amazing. The music's amazing. The aspects, like the, the weapons that you have, and then you can upgrade them when you get multiple of one, is just so different than Mario Kart, but in a better way. This game is Mario Kart just times 10 and better, and I feel like it's never gotten the true love that it really deserves. And I hope, again, that when we hopefully eventually get a Nintendo 64 download that this game is on that so many people can actually understand how amazing this game is and that's why Diddy Kong Racing is number two on this list and coming in at number one on this list we have Superman 64 <laughs> I'm just kidding no coming in on number one at this list we have Banjo Kazooie now, I might be biased when I'm talking about Banjo-Kazooie because it was my very first game, but Banjo-Kazooie and even the Banjo-Tooie games are some of the greatest games on the 64 of all time. Probably the number one game, the number one platformer, the storyline, the comedy, the sarcasm and banter within the game built in, but all the different worlds, the music, all of the trombones that they use. Oh my God. And, and the tubas and everything like that. You can tell it's a very, very rare wear game at the time. Just like Conkers. This game has it all when it comes to gameplay. And it's a platforming game that really doesn't feel too platformy. 
you know what I'm talking about, Kingdom Hearts. But <laughs> we get a game that literally can be felt today. Even so, when everybody was wondering Banjo for Smash, and we finally have Banjo for Smash. So you can't tell me that I am the only one that thinks Banjo-Kazooie is the greatest game for Nintendo 64 because everybody asked for it and we got it. Now Banjo-Tooie, again, I'm gonna put these together, just takes that game and ramps it up to the next level. You have all the new weapons, all the new moves, uh, all the new eggs, uh, then the storyline where Grunty comes back, the different worlds actually being tied into place to where you can go from one world and then go through a door and you're in another world is just amazing. You can't maybe you can't finish this complete world. You have to go somewhere and then come back. Some people found that tedious. I loved it. I thought it was so cool to integrate everything and making everything have a purpose, right? And everything is important. And that's why this game feels so important to the 64 as a whole. I'm hoping we get a Banjo 3E eventually. I don't know. They talked about it in the game, of course. I hope we get a downloadable 64 for the Switch. Who knows? But Banjo Kazooie is the personification of the Nintendo 64, and that is why it is number one on my list. Did you like this video? Am I an idiot? Let me know in the comments down below what your list is and hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of when we drop new videos because you know what? It's free and it really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to check out the merch store. It is up. We have brand new chill shirts, 30% uh, off with code chill at checkout as well as check out Techni Sports, 10% off with code chill at checkout. And with all that being said, you guys, I am Video Games and Chill. Don't forget to love yourself and love each other. Have a good day.